Hey, welcome to this channel. This is James from JTG Unbox Therapy. Recently, there have been an internet outage in most part of the countries, most especially the West African part of the countries. And in this video, we're going to be talking about what actually caused this problem. What are the measures being put to be able to resolve this problem? And how long is this problem going to last? So, without further ado, let's dive into today's video. Now, to the cause of the problem, the problem was caused by a cottage of a fiber optic cable which is at the sea, which is actually the main cause of the problem. But the internet outage is actually not like a total outage of your internet. You'll be able to browse the internet like me personally, I observe that YouTube and some other applications are working, but when you are trying to go through a website to be able to load a web page and be able to use your internet for the chats, GPT and other websites is unable to load. So this is not a total outage of the internet, but a partial one. And this happened some few days ago. and. The government and communication agencies are, are actually working on it and for what is being said, they said it may really take a lot of time to be able to sort this problem. Not a lot of time as per se, but like from what I read, they said it can take up to three weeks to one month to be able to solve this problem the government of these countries are losing a whole lot of money because of this internet outage some of the countries that are affected by this problem is number one nigeria ghana benin togo liberia burkina faso and a whole lot of west african countries that is actually affected but i actually can't tell if some other countries in other parts of the world is affected by this problem so as for what actually causes this problem, we can't tell and even the government, the international agency have not been able to give a good answer, a good explanation to what causes this problem. And from what people are saying is that they said is a problem caused at the sea. It can either be a shipwreck, a shark bite or some people think is actually a cyber attack. It doesn't matter what the problem is, but the main thing is, what is the solution to this problem? Because as time goes on, it's actually affecting almost everyone. Because if you're unable to use the internet this in this generation, you're unable to use the internet because almost everybody, 90% or even 100% of everyone uses the internet for their day-to-day -day activities to run their businesses like the Uber drivers, the Yango drivers and every individual business, even companies rely on the internet to be able to do their businesses, to be able to make international voice call, data calls and a whole lot. So now these are the problem but now what we need to do is what are the solution to this problem now to the solution of this problem there has to be a backup plan i think they need to look for other means to be able to solve this problem and avoid such problem from occurring at the nearest future i also read in an article that elon musk with his starlink is offering himself his services for these african countries to be able to use that's the Starlink internet to be able to use the internet for the main time while these problems are being solved at the sea. The fiber optic are being resolved and engineers are already there working on this problem. What it means is that we actually need the Starlink for these problems to be solved for the main time and while the main problem are being solved. Now, what Starlink needs to do is to seek license from these countries and they are also going to make money from this problem. That's Elon Musk is going to make money from this problem. And even the government is also going to save a whole lot of money, save a whole lot of businesses from crumbling down while this problem are being solved. 
So the best solution for now is to is for Elon Musk, and I heard that Elon Musk is already offering a service to these African countries, that Nigeria and other West African countries, to be able to solve this problem. We know that there has been issues with the Starlink coming to Ghana and being accepted in Ghana and other African countries because they've not been able to go, they've not really gone through the actual process of getting the licensing to be able to operate in these African countries. And I, so I think this is the best time for Elon Musk, that's the Starlink company, to be given the license for them to be able to operate in these African countries. I think this is actually the best time because it's going to save a whole lot of people money and also save the government and also make Elon Musk to also the Starlink company to be accepted in Ghana and other part of the world. So I think this is the best time for Starlink to be launched in Ghana and other parts of the world. So leave a comment. What do you think about this option of Starlink? offering their services in these African countries that are affected by this internet outage. Leave a comment at the comment section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Have a blessed day.